Welcome to Addis Ababa for the Great Ethiopian Run of 2012. The capital city has been hosting this amazing spectacle for 11 years and this year's event promises to be the best yet. Inspired by the great Haile Gabri Selassie, thousands of his countrymen and women, plus a handful of overseas competitors, throng the streets of the spiritual home of distance running to be a part of this unique occasion. Your commentator for the 2012 Great Ethiopian Run is Stuart Storey. Well, the mass is assembled here, and of course, uh, this is a sight we've seen year on year. This is the 11th a year to the very day that uh, Brendan Foster and Haile Gabriel Selassie first mooted this race. But meanwhile, the women already underway in this race, and they will be clear about 10 minutes ahead of the men. The men will be starting a little later, and uh, once... Uh, we get into this race, we'll see that there's some talent, although, as always, there's a lot of new blood. This is where the Ethiopian athletes get their chance. This is where they get a chance to emerge. Of course, when you look at uh, Kabeda, you look at uh, Algira, and one or two of those who have pedigrees already, then they will be very, very difficult to beat. 404 there is Emret Baka. She's taken an early lead. And, uh, and once again, we always see this at the beginning of races. The downhill, the first mile, it's fast because it's a little bit downhill and, and we would expect it to be quick. And you'll see that when the men get underway as well. All of a sudden, you've got a big, big group moving forward and they're already spreading out, having said that, looking back into the uh, rest of this field. Look at this, well spread out already. But the men now beginning to warm up to get underway in this uh, 12th running of this 10 kilometer race 2300 meters the altitude and that will take its toll let's just uh, look at some of the athletes here uh, 390 that's Meseret Leges uh, the tall figure in the lead um, just looking across at 382 that's Geta Neja um, 438 on the left is Ruti Aga. Now, Aga is a talented uh, athlete, certainly a very, very good junior uh, as a, a, a competitor in the junior ranks, but certainly will come through very quickly, I would think, into the senior um, domain. World Junior Championship silver medalist this year, over 5,000 metres. There she is wearing 438. She's a 31 35 uh, 10k runner at her best, but that was at sea level. Let's go back to the start now, and the men almost underway. I can tell you that the one or two athletes to the left just trying to get to the start, and they're late. I wonder if they'll get there. The policeman's... Is he going to let them get in? Well, they've got to join it. Well, well, they're short of the 10K, aren't they? But who cares? Who cares? This is a race, a festival in every sense of the word. There's uh, some one or two good athletes in this, of course. You've got some superb juniors in uh, Gebriwet, uh, he comes from the Tigray region. And just to say at this early stage of, of, of the race that uh, really the competitors we've seen in the past that have come through this race, well, you can mention Gabri Selassie himself, that 2001, Gebra Meriam in 2002, Tiranesh de Barber, of course, in the women's race in 2003, and then Kabeda in the men in 2007. And there are all sorts of newcomers in this race. One or two have got pedigrees, just looking at the leader at the moment. That's uh, Santiago Murga. He's running as an individual here. And uh, he's way out in front and going off very, very quickly, far too quickly. But remember, we've had early leaders in the past, you know, and uh, a guy called Abshiro um, in 2007 was unbelievable. I'm going to talk about more about him in a moment, but this is the masses. This is the, the rest of the 36,000 assembled and held back before the uh, the race begins in Maskell Square, Brendan Foster, Haile Gabriel Selassie, who mooted this race, uh, what, 11 years ago to the day, and it, it's become something of a, a really big, big event over the years and uh, established itself worldwide because in amongst these thousands will be emerging the next of great Ethiopian runners. This is, this is running country. It's very high up, so the altitude always plays a part. And, of course, when they go down to sea level, they've always got an advantage. But that scene you have there is, uh, is, is quite remarkable. You don't see this in too many places. I'm glad I'm not having to identify the... The athlete in the green strip, I must admit, with 36,000 of them, but uh, they don't mind. This is, uh, and incidentally, uh, many, many of the athletes now are running for private organizations. It used to be just state, but it's now booming as an industry now running. 
and the women you can see clearly now making some headway not really much of a change uh, Legessa is there with 390 very tall figure there uh, just looking across the field Charlotte Chaffer is there as well just mentioned our oh, 439 uh, 439 is one of the athletes I expect to do pretty well in this race that's the Zagera uh, Germa She's representing the federal prisons, which is one of the state-run uh, organizations. And, of course, the private organizations are now making their way. It's the biggest prize money, $2,500 US. Uh, we've not seen that before. Uh, 438 uh, on the uh, near side here. That uh, I'll just try and identify. Oh, that's Ruti, Ruti Arga. Now, Ruti Arga is a talent, a very, very good junior indeed and uh, one who may well future, uh, feature here. Silver medalist in the 5,000 meter World Junior Championships uh, this year. And so in very good form, she got a 31-35, as I said, she really is a very special athlete. Just looking at uh, one or two more athletes trying to identify where Charlotte Chaffer, 412. I've mentioned 438. I'm just uh, looking in the uh, three, uh, 460. Ah, there's uh, Kabeda in the blue strip, just behind the leading two. Uh, born in uh, Shewa here in Ethiopia, has previously finished 4th and 12th in this race, incidentally. You just see her on the right behind uh, uh, the athlete wearing 390, that's uh, Legessa. And just looking, not uh, much change, <laughs> one or two really looking uh, as though, well, 294 now has taken over the uh, lead. Uh, that's Hamanut uh, Matby. Uh, another athlete we haven't got too much about, but this, as I began to say, about Abshiro early on. Abshiro, of course, was a newcomer, tried to get away with a race, a total unknown, and, of course, uh, was beaten by Sege Kabeda on that day. He went on to win Olympic bronze and uh, in the marathon nine months later. But Abshiro, who finished eighth in 2007, went on, of course, to, to, to run the fastest ever debut marathon at 2.426 in Dubai. And that stood until uh, Dennis Kometo, uh, better that time in Berlin this year. You can see that uh, the rest of the athletes chasing, I can see Gadissa Berhanu there in the green top in uh, second place, I think. Oh, there's that Kinder, I think that's Atanal. There are two in green tops at the front of that uh, group, but uh, with the black shorts, uh, that is uh, Kinder Atanal. And uh, looking at him, he's got a pretty good pedigree as well. He's fourth in the World Junior Championships this year. He's only 19. And many of these athletes are youngsters, they really are. They're just being blooded for the first time. And this is an opportunity for them to enter. They don't have to, they don't have to qualify to enter, they can enter. And this is about running. Haile Gabrielas is a man who started here. He ran in this race, he won this race right at the very beginning. But while we were looking at the trailing group, I can tell you that there's a little bit of a break on here, and it's Gadissa Berhanu wearing 2-1-0. And it looks to be that he's really broken away, but 10 metres or so, in a very, very short space of time. He looks good, he looks comfortable. It's early days, having said that, with uh, uh, more uh, auspicious characters like Gebrewit, uh, Sefer, um, Antonau and the like in his wake. But, uh, well, we shall see. Look at those scenes. The road absolutely chock-a-block with athletes. Wonderful scenes. Not much of a change at the front uh, in this race. Everybody who should be there is there, and uh, that's important. Germa at 439, I could see in the background there. Uh, Algira uh, there representing the sponsors. There's uh, um, just looking across, uh, looking at uh, Kabeda wearing 460, the blue top and the purple shorts. Uh, 438, I've already mentioned. I'm just looking for. Uh, 325, can't find her at the moment, uh, but uh, we will. Oh, yes, it's Furka. It's uh, representing Geta Zuru, um, second in the first race of the domestic series, actually, last year, this year. They have a series of domestic races here, and there are one or two of the juniors that have done very, very well, and Furka was one of those. She won the first race, didn't compete in the and the rest. There she is looking uh, fourth in that field. Aga, Kabeda, Verkinesh, Furka and Legessa, they're the leading group and you can see how one or two now are dropping off the back. It's a really good uh, pace this, considering the altitude we're at and uh, this is Gadissa Bahanu. Now Bahanu is really trying to get away here and is this a significant break? It's very very early in the race Remember, it's 10 kilometers, but the margin of advantage now is considerable. And I just wonder, there are far more experienced athletes in this race 
who must be wondering now, is this the emergence of a newcomer? Is this the man who has come here believing, with a belief, because so many come here to run in Addis Ababa for the very first time. They've never been out of uh, Ethiopia, never been anywhere before. A little glance over his shoulder. 4-6-0. Kabeda takes over for the first time. And that's a very, very uh, interesting move indeed. She is the class act here. There's no question about that. Her marathon debut was in uh, Dubai in 2010. She finished second there to Daska, a time of 2.24, first time out. And, of course, I was there in Berlin this year to see her win the Berlin Marathon. And uh, she came to London, the Virgin Marathon there, and was sixth. Um, so she is the talent. She's the class, but there are one or two pretenders in this group as well. That's absolutely clear for me to see. And uh, it's going well. Working at Gegefa there, 4-6-3. Um, is the, and 4-1-9 is... Uh, that is... Uh, Balanesh Algira, I've mentioned her before. Now, Algira is another real talent. Uh, fifth in the Olympic Games this year, over 10,000 metres. So there you've got some talent. She was under 31 minutes as well, 30, 30, uh, 45. And uh, tenth in the World Cross Country Championships last year. But this fella still believes, but they're closing. I'm sure that looks as, to me as though they were closing. Not easy from the previous shot, but it does look as though they are closing him down. Now then. Let's see if we can uh, identify one or two. It looks as though uh, 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 Atanau is there. But I tell you what, this is, uh, this is a very, very brave move indeed, but uh, perhaps too brave. The rest are definitely closing. There's no question about that. The course itself is circular, incidentally, and uh, the... They've got some uh, areas of this course where they are cooling, they're spraying the athletes as well because it is quite warm, And uh, but these athletes are, of course, used to that. Most of the Ethiopians, Ethiopian athletes don't enjoy the, the warmth, I must say, <laughs> having said that. I was in Mombasa in 2007 covering the world cross country and, of course, uh, the Ethiopians suffered badly in the heat. But here we go. This is the close down now. There's no question about that. And that early break to try and get away has uh, not worked, and they've slowly but surely uh, come back to him. And, uh, well, uh, Bahanu may well find it difficult. It'd be interesting to see how he acts when they come up alongside, won't it? Well, this race beginning to emerge now with several serious contenders for the title.